Hi, happy Friday. Totally normal here. Nothing to look at. Wanted to show you all this before we finished it off. Um, we found it at a grocery store earlier this week. Um, it's like a WTF what the Fanta mystery flavor, which we obviously got immediately upon finding. But then we realized it was zero sugar, which kind of made it less fun because I don't know. I think neither of us care for artificial sweeteners much. They kind of have a weird taste. One of these is an artificial sweetener. I don't know what though. Okay, so after some intense research of Googling the word sweet and learning its soot, it has to be these. Sodium cyclamate, I don't know what that is. Aces sulfame K, I don't know what that is. And sucralose. Uh, anyway, the flavor. Um, it's passion fruit. Spoilers, it's passion fruit. But like with like artificial sweetener flavor. So it's good because passion fruit is delicious, but the side of artificial sweetener is not the best. But I am finishing it. Hi. It is significantly later in the day. Justin had a work call come up, which led into um, a meeting he had to take, um, et cetera, et cetera. And that is just life in this hotel room sized place we're living in. Oh, and you might be wondering why I'm wearing this now. I went to go drink some water and <laughs> messed my neck up somehow. That's really embarrassing to talk about out loud. But yeah, I just like, and then I don't know. I don't know, but Justin thought to use his um, travel pillow, like for airplanes, to kind of keep my neck upright. So I'm rocking this today. Making the most of it. Oh yeah, earlier um, I made coffee like, during Justin's meetings. I made cold brew Wednesday, thinking I would make it Thursday, but Thursday was a complete bust. So I made it, made it today. And the idea was twofold. First, making it hot tastes gross. Second, Making it hot uses the entire, um, that thing, the coffee pot, um, which is not a lot of room here. Takes up all the room. So Justin had the idea to make cold brew with the one single jar we have, and I tried it. It was messy, but it worked. Tasted better for sure. Still use a lot of the coffee equipment, but I feel like I could put it away faster. So it was not as crazy in the kitchen. Verdict is I might continue trying that. I love how broccoli is basically just like the whole stick. Like they don't, <laughs> it's not a thing in the US. Are you giving them free feet? I can blur it out. I don't know, this also feels like a really good amount of broccoli. Like this doesn't, what is that? Is that gross? What is it? Why is it dark? Whatever. If it's my time, it's my time. Oh my God. I love how you just have like tiny of everything, like a tiny cutting board, tiny knife, and then like a giant frying pan. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm just gonna put it on the plate. I'm just like hacking away at it. <laughs> the best. Yeah, maybe we should have like peeled it the last time we cooked broccoli. Cause it definitely felt tough. Is that like a thing people do here? Comment below if you peel broccoli. Okay, but I don't want to know if Americans do it, cause I don't think Americans do it. Um, in my delusion, everyone is watching this. Americans, Europeans. Meanwhile, it's just like my parents and my sister. Mm -hmm. So I'm cooking the stems longer so that the florets don't overcook. I don't know how to cook rice in a pot though, so that's gonna be fun. Can't eat that hard, right? No. If my people can do it, anyone can do it. 
masterful use of this extremely low counter space. There's just like not enough tools, but like, I don't want to buy any. Right. Is it Easter? We die in them? Oh my god. I mean, I doubt it's like strong enough. I have no idea. It looks like it's getting close to being done because like there's like almost no water anymore. But like it doesn't look done. It's so hot. I don't know why, but I feel like <laughs> I feel like eggs stay hotter here. Which I know is like the dumbest thing you could ever say, but like they I feel like they stay hotter here. Hmm. Like anytime I used to peel eggs back in the US, it was like, oh let me just run them underwater a few times and then like sometimes it would get too cold and I'd be like, oh okay. But like now like I ran underwater for like, I don't know, a minute. It feels like it could still burn me. Is that enough? One two, and a half? Two thing or one and a half? Yeah, that should be good. Right. Sure. Oh my god, oh my god. This is supposed to be like the easy part. Well, I learned that you can't just like dump all the water you want and then the curry block. Like you need to like start off a little, like you treat it kind of like a roux. Oh. Like a bechamel sauce. So that way it stays like thicker like this. Oh my god. It actually looks great now. I'm good at this. I know how to cook. Yeah, we are trying something new today. Ooh. Smell good? Yeah. Want to smell it? Ooh, it does smell good. It smells like already seasoned. I do like this thing. <laughs> this looks so weird. <laughs> oh god, it feels stiff, so I don't know. Oh yeah. I don't know about this. So look at how much it's soaked up. Oh my yeah. god. That's not good. <laughs> oh my god, it smells good. This smells like fried chicken or something. I don't know. It smells, this smells great. This rice is good. Is that too much? Sounds promising. Mm -hmm. It looks oily though. <laughs> Every single tool, pot, and plate is now dirty. Ooh. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try it. Vegetarian meal if you eat eggs. Hmm. That's pretty good. This is good. It has the texture of the meat. Yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, what do you give it? I mean, I love Japanese curry. Mm-hmm. And this has everything that we usually have with it, right? Mm -hmm. Just the cheese is a little different. Oh, the cheese. Oh, yeah. You dig for that cheese. Oh, the cheese is not melted at all. <laughs> that piece of broccoli was woody. Mmm. The cheese works with it. Yeah. I just wish I cut it up or something. <clears throat> oh, grapefruit. I, I don't think I actually like grapefruit in real life. What is the one called? Fiesta? Fresca? Fresca. This is better than Fresco. Oh my god. Like Fresco, but with more like... Is it sour? Or what's the flavor? Tart? Yeah, it's tart. It's basically like a Sprite if it was flavored by grapefruit. Mm -hmm. It's good. I love it. After trying everything here, I would give it like... an 8 out of 10. Yeah, me too. I think just of the breading on the veggie schnitzel was and, a little better. And like, if we had a rice cooker, mm. the rice would be warmer so then the cheese would melt. Yeah. Also, if we had shredded cheese, that would be better. All right, I'm in the bathroom and I have this. Justin knew exactly where to find this. Um, I think we've been using this exact kind of thing, the one blade for since Holland. So like 2017, tried it out in Holland, loved it. Went back to the States, found it there. I think it's Noralco there. 
This is not sponsored, but it's great because you can do different lengths with it and stuff. Anyway, this is not the point of the video. The point of the video is getting rid of this. Finally, no more itchy neck, no more neck beard. Here we go. Long time coming. This really blends in. It looks like I don't. It looks like my head is just floating. How's your head? Wow. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, you witnessed travel pillows being used as neck braces, cold brew, cooking a delicious meal in a tiny kitchen. Join us next time. Goodbye.